we're going to try and tell you a full improvised story with a beginning, a middle, and hopefully an end. <laughs> we want our completely made up title. You can either come up with a fully fledged made up title or give me some words and I'll smash them together. Flamboyant flamingo. What was that one? The flamboyant flamingo. The flamboyant flamingo. I quite like that. I I what's under your bed? What's under my bed? <laughs> what was that? Neighbours. The neighbour. Neighbours. The neighbours under the bed. <laughs> what a mystery and intrigue. <laughs> I'm going to go with the neighbours <laughs> under the bed. Can we get a round of applause for this epic <laughs> Rather sunny day out, isn't it, Martha? Yes, absolutely wonderful. I saw the kids playing outside. They were playing with a football. <laughs> were they any good, Martha? At football? Yes. <laughs> well, I suppose so. Not as good as their old man, though. That's for that's for bloody sure. <laughs> Do you know, I used to play for Wutheringham Rangers. For Wutheringham Rangers? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Did you know, I used to play for uh, Raccoon City? <laughs> Martha, are you having another one of your little japes? Yes, I'm having a little jape. I am. Uh, Martha, I take my football career very seriously. As do the boys playing in the garden. I know, darling. Okay? I know that we're a football family. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. And I know you want to raise them to play football for us. Like their old man. Like their old man. But sometimes, you know, if they're outside and they're playing, they don't have to be playing football all the time. You know, they can do other things, darling. Like what? <laughs> like TikTok or... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, don't, I don't think kids do anything else. <laughs> See, you're struggling to think. This is why they need to focus solely on the football. I won't have it any other way, Martha. I'm sorry. Do you remember when we first met? Go ahead. There I was, in the stands, a young girl. You had such a deep, booming voice deep, even then. Booming voice. My father had brought me to the game to see the raccoons. And there I was, looking out, and I saw you. Your blonde hair, your little boy face. We beat Raccoon City 7-0. 7-0. They were American. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> and I remember thinking, I'm going to marry that man one day. And I bloody well did. Aww. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> I just, that's not the end of the story. <laughs> what I mean is that when I, the man that I saw that day was a man who was focused. Of course, a man who was focused, but who also played for his team. This is now your team. Your family. You understand? Yes, that's why I'm driving the boys to play football. <laughs> to play it well. To play it hard. I feel that it's you who doesn't understand what this family is all about. God damn it. It's the neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer it. Hello there. Hello, neighbour. How are you? Sorry, I couldn't help but hearing quite some raised voices coming from next door. I just wanted to check everything was hunky dory. Everything is, uh. Oh, I'll, I'll leave then. Okay. <laughs> Rather a nosy neighbour. Rather a nosy neighbour. I'm not sure I like that. He could be. Oh. <laughs> Answer it. I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> ah, neighbour. Couldn't help notice your boys playing football out in the road. Okay. <laughs> it's 
quite dangerous, you know. Ball games in the middle of the street. Yes, uh, I, I, I know, yes. Wouldn't want anything to happen to them. <laughs> of course, friendly neighbour, of course. They're good lads, they're good lads. All right, see you tonight. See you later. Tonight. <laughs> Good. Bye. Good to see you. There's something fucking weird about that. <laughs> Did you see he had a built-in torch in his hat? <laughs> I know, it's bright fucking sunlight. <laughs> what could he possibly be doing? I don't know. I'm sure it's totally fine. I'll get in the house. <laughs> I believe in you, darling. You'll get all the way in where you belong. Thank you so much for your support, Abigail. I need to know, I need to know how that man managed to beat us seven nil. <laughs> I've been fantasizing about, well, not fantasizing, obsessing about it for 20 years. You can fantasize. Oh. I just. Are you having another of your episodes? <laughs> I am, I'm just. Flashbacks. One, two, three, four. Wutheringham oh. Rangers win 7 0. Oh. That's 7 0 to Wutheringham Rangers. Listen, ever since the raccoons were disbanded, all 11 players went their separate ways, but I found you again. And when we have our revenge... <laughs> when we have our revenge! <laughs> Those rangers will know the fury of a raccoon in heat. I just need to observe them when they're not looking at me like a neighbour. I just need to get in the house. That's why I'm digging this tunnel. <laughs> But where, oh where, will the tunnel come up? Well, probably in the basement. <laughs> and then I'm going to go up through the walls. I need to watch this man, hear this man, and he's most vulnerable when he's sleeping. Well, then do I have a surprise for you. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I'm fiddling with my plan nipples. <laughs> you know what they say, a, a, a nipple a day. <laughs> Keeps the rangers at bay. <laughs> That's what we've got on our house crest. <laughs> Plans. Blueprints. <laughs> to their house. Using these, you can come out straight underneath of their bed. They sleep on the ground floor. They That's weird. <laughs> they sleep upon the ground floor. And soon, soon. <laughs> They will sleep no more. God, I love you, Abigail. I love you too. I'm going in that hole and I'm going under that bed. Oh, oh you mean tonight? Oh. <laughs> Night, kids. Love you. We love you too, Dad. Love you. Don't, don't hit your brother anymore. That's not very nice, okay? I try to, but the night terrors. <laughs> All right, let's be careful, the two of you. Mummy, mummy. Oh, by the head, the other one's not in here at the moment. I swear I just put you to bed. <laughs> well, I, I've been, sorry to clarify, I've been bad. <laughs> but my older brother is somewhere else. Johnny? Yes, Johnny, that's the one. Johnny? Mummy, mummy. Yes, what is it? Mummy, I had another one of my, my, my future dreams. No, I, I did say that he was my older brother. <laughs> but he's emotionally less mature. <laughs> Darling, what do you mean you had another one of your future dreams? When I, when I dream of something and then it happens. <laughs> I personally have been focused on the economic situation. Because... Go to sleep, Janae. Go to sleep, Janae. I'll try, but I do have to finish... The Oxford curriculum, <laughs> because you know I'm lecturing in the morning. <laughs> what happened in your dream, darling? I, 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 dream, I dream I went to bed and then a man creeped out from under my bed. Oh, darling, it's not true. It's just those 
frightening things. Remember, I've told you about your frightening dreams before. It's nothing to be worried about. But sometimes they come true, Mummy. Yes, that one time did come true. <laughs> when the, the you dreamed of the car came flying into our house and <laughs> and it happened. It did happen. The entire east wing was destroyed. Yes. <laughs> but darling, that was just a one-off, I promise you. Okay, I promise, Mummy. Darling, yeah. look into my eyes. <laughs> Does mummy love you? Uh, do I have to look in both of them at once or just one? No. I can try to do both no, at once. No. Stop being a weirdo. <laughs> Be normal, my little munchkin. Okay. My little, little munchkin. Yes. All right. Go, mummy. Have a kiss. Now go to bed and don't mysteriously reappear behind me again. <laughs> Darling, it's me. Can I come in? Yes, yes, I'm just getting changed into my bedroom. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> I thought perhaps tonight we might make love. Oh. <laughs> well, when you say it like that. <laughs> yes, I guess we could. I've laid out some lingerie on the bed. Sure. Some lingerie? Yes. Brilliant. Well... For you, not for me. No, just to... <laughs> Well, how about I put it on and we get this show on the road? I'd rather like that. <laughs> I'll sit in the armchair and prepare a pipe. You know I like to smoke as I watch. You come here and have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to intrude. I realise this is important for a middle-aged relationship. But my size... My seismogram. Nope. We've, we've spoken about your seismogram just like your brother and his scary thoughts, OK? It's not true. My seismogram is true. If I designed it myself. If it was true, it would be called a seismograph. Exactly, like the real thing. Like the real thing. I said I made it myself. It's something new, father. Darling, me and your father are fucking. <laughs> now please go back to bed. And put, and get, and it's all in your head, the seismogram. It's all in your I'm head. I'm holding it in my hand. You have such a way with the children. <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out, Abigail. I know where he gets his power. I have to sleep with his wife. <laughs> sleep with his wife. Go on. <laughs> I, I watched. I watched them together. They just seemed so in love, and it filled him with sort of. And he said, "Oh, here comes a shoot or something like that." I think. I think her. Sort of carnal lust fills his football skills. I could reform the raccoons. Yes. Yes, and I'll sleep with Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> How's that gonna help the raccoons? It won't. It's gonna be good though. <laughs> so, sorry, uh, raccoons, it's all about the raccoons, yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Do, you don't do the nipple, I do the nipple thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. You know, this is just about football. I, I have no desire for that woman. You're the only one for me. Mm. <laughs> My body is a temple to destruction. <laughs> There's one thing that's... <laughs> an engine of war I'm not done. <laughs> a pyramid housing the hatred of thousands. <laughs> A stadium with a roar of rage <laughs> becomes a bit of juice of desolation. <laughs> Make a cuckoo dress of me. <laughs> Engorge him and have him enter. No way. Engorge her <laughs> and have yourself enter her tonight. 
feel a bit faint. <laughs> Darling, you have a good time on your trip, OK? I will. It's just me. Uh, as a boy. <laughs> All right. Yes, a very good projection. Yes. Uh, yes, it, it will just be uh, me and the boys. And um... No, me and the boys. <laughs> oh. I'm with the Wuthering Rangers boys. Oh, you and yes. our boys? Yes, with our boys. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Don't disturb Mummy. She's having a queen sleep tonight. Oh, for fuck fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello? Hello, neighbour. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, do you mind if I come in? Um, it's a neighbourhood watch issue. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Just some... Uh, Interesting things been happening in the local <coughs> suburb. What, what's been going on? Oh, you know, it's just uh, apparently a lot of uh, football hooligans been running around causing a ruckus, you know. Don't you hate it when people are just so obsessed with football they can't think or focus on anything else? <laughs> I know it well. My Do husband it. is the same. Oh, my wife's the same. <laughs> You've been digging? <laughs> Gardening, actually. I've been planting roses. I, I actually bought some for you. I thought it might, you know, brighten up the kitchen. Oh, that's right. Careful, they're sharp. Oh. They, have a, they have a bite. <laughs> right. Okay, well, oh, that's so lovely, lovely of you. <laughs> Oh, lovely oh, pull home, up, lovely pull, home you built here. Pull up a chair. <laughs> pull up a chair. Yes, you've already done it. Oh. <laughs> well, I can't stay too long, you know. Oh, my, good. My wife's at home, ready to talk about football all the time. I just, you know, I wish there was something else, you know, like you know, theatre and music or arts oh, or food. I, I love the theatre. Who doesn't love the theatre? It was my first passion, Ian McKellen. <laughs> I really wanted, I really wanted to bang him. <laughs> oh, he was so, he was the Timothy Chalamet of his day, he really was. I know how you feel. For me, it was Patrick Stewart. Oh. <laughs> you remind me of him. <laughs> Your posh voice. Yeah, well, of course. You know, I'm, I'm actually going to go see something at the Globe down in London in a couple of weeks. Oh, I have. Please been to let the... me pull up another chair. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been to the Globe since uh, well, 1975. Yeah, it was open then. <laughs> I went to see Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart in... together. Together in what? X Men. <laughs> Shakespeare's lesser known works. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the way they played, the way they graced the stage, and Ian McKellen was floating around, and <laughs> Patrick Stewart was bald. It was incredible. I'm a big fan of the romance tragedies myself. You know, two people who shouldn't be together, giving in, who found a passion, something that they share. Just like the X Men. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, um... I know. What, I think I know what you're saying. I sometimes feel like I'm different, like a mutant. But I'm not. You know, people don't understand me in this little suburb. You know, I, I like being cultured. I like going down to London, doing theatre things, the things, getting some nice food, nice food, tasty menu, Expensive. not having to listen to football all the time. <laughs> And I saw the car leave. <laughs> You're a strong woman. <laughs> like Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Johnny? Are you still awake, Johnny? 
Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Johnny, are you having are you having an overview of future dreams, Johnny? Yeah, Johnny, like future dreams, Johnny. <laughs> Sounded like a different person for a moment, Johnny. I know, yes. Sorry, I sounded like oh, it's a terrible dream. What I did you dream? We had a different daddy. <laughs> our daddy was not our daddy; it was the neighbour. I can I can hear voices downstairs, and they're on my seismogram. <laughs> I don't, I don't That's know. a goal. <laughs> Johnny, tell me your favourite part of the X-Men. Oh, I like it when Nightcrawler comes into the White House of the second film. <laughs> Just bounce around the place. Oh, teleport me, teleport me. All I heard was something about comes in to the... And I didn't have... <laughs> Johnny. I'm going to paint this house white. <laughs> I am eight and you're 15. Between us, between us, we have to stop this. We need to call father. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Quite low, I was going to suggest a fire, but okay. Oh, oh, that sounds good, yeah, fire. Go. Okay, go. <laughs> Sorry, I was just taking a cigarette out of your mouth. Oh, oh, what have I told you, Janae? The neighbour's house is on fire. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I saw it on my fire my ground. <laughs> Angela, no, my wife. She's over there. Get it down my way. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. My little death twitches. <laughs> well, I've had a... I've had a terrible sense that, that something is wrong. Oh, oh God, it, it's like that. It's like the sixth sense that my child has, but I've got it too because it's fucking genetic. <laughs> the neighbor's house is on fire. <laughs> Hello there, neighbor. Oh, darling, you're home. My wife's dead. <laughs> My house is burned down. But it doesn't matter, cos I've finally got what I wanted. I've got your football prowess. I've learnt your secrets. It's me. <gasps> Mark Adams, lead striker for Raccoon City. <laughs> He's the one you, you nutmegged in the last two minutes. No! You made him look like an idiot. That's right, you did make me look like an idiot, but who's an idiot now? I can't, can't oh. believe it! The only northerner on the American team, Raccoon City! I, I was not good enough to play for any northern English team, so I've got to go to the States. And we transferred over here for an international game. And you made us look like fools. But who's the fool now? I have found the secret of your football power. And I possess it. Isn't that right? Rachel? <laughs> Her name is Martha, damn it! Martha! I've got what I need now, I don't care what I need. You told me we'd go to the theatre together. You thought X Men was a play by Shakespeare? <laughs> I would never take such uncultured swine to the theatre. But I know she's the secret to your football prowess, and now I can feel it. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I was in your walls yesterday. <laughs> what? I, I was in your walls last night, and I heard you making love, and I heard you say, shoot, shoot, and football things, and I realised that's where your football powers come from. So I came over here, seduced your wife, and now I have the power! Are you suggesting that I get my football prowess from fucking my wife. I beat you 7-0 when I was 10 years old! I don't believe there's only one way to settle this. Penalty shootouts. Let's fucking go! 
miss. <laughs> the two middle-aged men are now both playing football Score! against the wall, whilst the wife stands by, absolutely <laughs> enraged Score! to find out that neither man cares miss! which of them is banging her. There's also a body being Score! slowly cremated in the house next door. Score! The fire service have just arrived. These two absolute wankers have different priorities, though. Miss! I'll be seeking forced adoption for oh, myself oh, and my older oh, brother. Oh, and my wife is still alive! <laughs>